It's a break from the extreme weather right now. We have got an extremely nice mm -hmm. day for being and working outside. We gave you the money back guarantee. It's a Randy factor of nine for being and working outside. I hope you have a chance to get out yet this evening. Here's our computer model with the temperatures around 80 into early evening. We get some clouds to spread in overnight tonight, but dry for most of the night and not as cool. By tomorrow morning, the idea that there could be a few spotty showers or sprinkles around, but just for a couple of hours in the morning with some clouds. And then as the clouds leave, the temperatures will warm pretty dramatically with the southwest breeze developing in the afternoon and also into the evening. So far today, 80 has been our high, which takes it out of the running as one of the top 10 days of the year for being and working outside. I know it's tremendous. This is about as close as you can get to a top 10 day without having a top 10 day 51 degrees this morning's low temperature. That was nice. No moisture. We're drying up a little bit here, but there are some rain chances ahead in the forecast and we continue with a high count of grass pollen, which is so typical for June. Uh, the tree pollen, the weed pollen, air quality in the good range. There's a nice look at I-29 and Epley Airfield and downtown Omaha here. Our camera at the Lewis and Clark Monument on the north side of Council Bluffs. Light winds, dry air, 79 degrees, the current temperature. It's incredible. 84 in Lincoln, 80 in Nebraska City, 77 in Atlantic, Denison, 75 in Carroll. Dew points 40s to around 50 and the winds will say light and variable because there's no average direction that we're seeing. Well, the radar is quiet right now. We're watching thunderstorms here in western South Dakota and the panhandle of Nebraska. A couple of severe thunderstorm watches there and forecast calls for that activity to weaken as it comes eastward because the air is so dry and temperatures will cool off at night. But some lingering clouds and a few spotty showers with that activity for us tomorrow morning. And then it's out of here and we get a southwest breeze and it doesn't appear that anything will develop on the front later tomorrow. And then Wednesday, the south winds are going to blow, and that means hot temperatures. Maybe the first time we hit 90 this year. 62 the low tonight. Skies partly to mostly cloudy. Tuesday, maybe an isolated shower at around 8 a.m., give or take an hour, warming up at noontime, and then the south winds really picking up in the afternoon. 88 for the high. 94 on Wednesday. Uh, the south winds pretty strong. Thursday, still pretty hot and a bit humid there. There's an outside chance of a thunderstorm, although it seems more likely not in the area and overnight Thursday night. But then somewhat increased thunderstorm chances Friday night, hopefully not interfering with the College World Series. Mm. Chance of a thunderstorm on Saturday and also again on Monday. Let's keep the chances down just to, in, the, in the 40 <laughs> or below. That'd be good. Uh, you know.